and lastly some marks are recognized as well known trademarks to avoid consumer confusion you may recall this is the protection that is accorded to all trademarks in the case of well known trademarks they are accorded additional protection which is they may be enforced against use of similar or identical trademarks for unrelated goods and services and the primary reason why they given this additional protection is to protect their reputation now that we have understood why some trademarks are given broader protection and are recognized as well known trademarks let us understand what is the criteria for recognizing a trademark as a well known trademark interestingly the trademarks act does not set any criteria for courts to consider to decide while deciding what, when is a trademark well known however the trademarks act does provide criteria that the registrar of trademarks may consider while determining when a mark is well known this this criteria is provided in section 11 of the trademarks act let's go through the relevant provision of the trademarks act to understand the criteria that is set out in it under section 11 there are at least 5 factors that the registrar of trademarks may consider while deciding if a mark is well known or not we must understand that the status of a well known trademark gives wide protection to the said mark hence it is in limited circumstances only that such recognition must be accorded to a mark the first factor provided under section 11 of the trademarks act is the knowledge or recognition of that mark in the relevant section of the public including knowledge in india obtained as a result of promotion of the trademark the section further provides several factors that may be considered in this regard firstly the number of actual or potential consumers of the goods or services secondly the number of persons involved in the channels of distribution of these goods or services and thirdly the business circles dealing with the goods or services to which that mark applies so the first criteria set for recognition of a well known trademark is the knowledge or recognition of that mark that it enjoys in india second factor listed in section 11 for recognition of a trademark as a well known trademark is the duration extent and geographical area of any use of that trademark the third criteria listed is the duration extent and geographical area of any promotion of that trademark including advertising or publicity and presentation at fairs etc the third criteria the fourth criteria for recognition of a mark as a well known trademark is the ge duration and geographic area of any registration of or any application for registration of that trademark under the indian trademarks act to the extent they reflect the use or recognition of that trademark and lastly the record of successful enforcement of the rights in that trademark in particular the extent to which the trademark has been recognized as a well known trademark by any court or registrar under that record now while these factors are only guidelines that the registrar of trademarks may follow and are in no way exhaustive or mandatory general they provide the general principles of recognizing a trademark as a well known trademark now the trademarks act specifically lists out certain prerequisite certain factors that are not required for recognition of a mark as a well known trademark there are at least five factors that are listed in the trademarks act as a word of caution to the registrar to not consider mandatory when determining whether a trademark is a well known trademark the first such factor is that the mark has been used in india now the basis for putting this factor is easily understood 
there are several trademarks that have enjoy a wide reputation globally but may not have any actual use in india such marks can still be recognized as well known trademarks in india since use in india is not a prerequisite for such recognition the second such factor is that the mark has been registered now this factor benefits trademarks that have wide reputation proprietors of which enjoy common law rights but do not have registrations in india the third factor is that the application of for registration of the trademark has been filed in india now this factor does suggest that well known trademark status can be accorded irrespective of any application for registration in india and lastly that the trademark is well known or has been registered in or in respect of which an application for registration has been filed in any jurisdiction other than india or that the trademark is well known to the public at large in india so after reading the relevant provisions of the trademark act it does become clear that there are some guidelines specifically prescribed for the registrar of trademarks to follow and these guides these guidelines focus on the reputation of a trademark before recognizing it as a well known trademark because after all it is that specific reputation that a trademark enjoys which gives it the benefit of the status of a well known trademark as as i had explained earlier there is no set criteria set under the trademark act for courts to follow well section 11 does act as a guideline even for courts and this is the reason why courts have developed very similar criteria for recognizing a trademark as a well known trademark again the criteria set out by courts revolve around factors concrete proof evidence that can show and establish the reputation of a trademark in india this criteria as explained in section 11 states the knowledge or recognition of that trademark in the relevant section of the public including knowledge in india obtained as a result of promotion of the trademark now you will see that this factor takes into account the wide promotion that a trademark proprietor may engage into as this is a factor that will directly indicate the reputation of the trademark in india the trademark act under section 11 further clarifies what additional factors may be considered with respect to the knowledge or recognition of a trademark in india now these factors include the number of actual or potential consumers of the goods or services the number of persons involved in the channels of distribution of the goods or services and the business circles dealing with the goods or services to which the trademark applies second criteria for recognizing a trademark as a well known trademark under the trademark act is the duration extent and geographic area of use of that mark so we first considered the knowledge and recognition of the trademark by consumers and the second factor pertains to the use of that trademark again you will see how both of these factors help us understand the reputation of a trademark in india the third factor under section 11 is the duration extent and geographical area of any promotion of that trademark here you will notice the slight overlap between the first criteria and the third criteria both of which deal with promotion of the trademark this also includes advertising publicity and presentation at fairs or exhibition of the goods or services under the trademark in question the fourth factor under section 11 for recognizing a trademark is a well known trademark is the duration and geographical area of any registration of or any application for registration of that trademark under the indian trademark act to the extent they reflect the use or recognition of that trademark now how would a trademark application or registration reflect the use or recognition of that trademark in india 
One factor, as you would know, is the use claimed in a trademark application by the proprietor. This may also show the long use of a trademark in India by the proprietor. The fifth factor under section 11 that may guide a registrar of trademarks in holding a trademark as well known is the recordal of successful enforcement of the rights in the trademark, in particular the extent to which the trademark has been recognized as a well-known trademark by any court or registrar.